Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to this energy update for the December Solstice 2022. My name is Ona Christie, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing some Akashic downloads that I've received around the Solstice time, a message from the whales to assist humanity at this time, and I'll also be telling you about an event that I have coming up next week. So solstice is always a turning point. It represents the swing from the dark to the light side of the year or vice versa. In the northern hemisphere, of course, right now we're celebrating the shift from a descending sun right to the ascending sun to be welcoming in more light. And in the southern hemisphere, it's going to go the other way. But we, we're, what we're really celebrating if you're in the southern hemisphere is going to be the the abundance of light, right? The time of the year where you have the most daylight hours. So either way, we're really celebrating the sun and giving thanks, of course, for the abundance that the sun brings, the healing, you know, all the beautiful things that the light brings into our lives. So when I tuned into the Akashic field to ask about the energies of this December 2022 solstice, the first thing I was shown was this beautiful teal green color. It looks like in my painting behind me, this color right here. And I was also shown just that it represented water. So this whole element of water came forward really, really strongly. Um, and I was told to connect with the deep sea creatures and, and especially the whales. I was told that water is life and that the water of this planet is its life blood and its amniotic fluid. Okay, so water is an incredible carrier of electrical impulses. The water itself is this feminine presence that holds the salts, right, that, that are earth in suspension within the water. And the salts are what carry, allow the water to carry the electrical impulses. So it's really this kind of masculine feminine partnership between earth and water that allows electricity to be carried. And electricity, of course, is energy, right? And so water is an amazing carrier, not just of electricity itself, right? But also of sound, it, it holds vibration. And a few days after I, I did, did this inquiry, I was synchronistically led to see some of these amazing patterns that water makes when it's exposed to vibration, right? Um, any kind of vibration, but especially sound vibration. Water will create these incredible patterns, right? And so I was told that this was really, really important because water is a super important part of the nervous system of the earth as a carrier of these impulses and also the communication system of the earth, okay? And the um, message from the Akash said, the whales are the lords of water and they are able to receive and amplify or rebroadcast information or impulses received from extraterrestrial sources. They are vital to earth's ability to communicate with her planetary brethren, okay? I'm gonna repeat this, the whales are the lords of water and they are vital to earth's ability to communicate with the her planetary brethren which i'm taking to mean like our star family the star races all right and so after i tuned into the akash and they told me how important the whales are i asked the whales what do you have to say to humans at this time and here's their message to us. They said, if you ask us, we will relay your messages to those who are watching over you. If you ask us to, we will assist you in communicating with your star brethren. We can work together. Oh, human beings, when will you finally remember how to work together, how to sing together? Remember what it is like to harmonize before it is too late. Speak to us, think of us in your dreams, bring us back into your awareness. We are the voice of the water. We are the voice of life. You are allowed to grieve. Grieve now. Let the tears flow. There has been much pain, much anguish on the surface of the world. We feel it. We feel it deeply. Allow yourselves to feel. You must feel the pain to heal from it. Ask us, and we will invite the healers in on your behalf. Ask us for our wisdom. You need only to ask. There is so much healing and love available to you should you will yourself to receive it. Okay, so what I'm getting here coming forward at this pivotal time, this is like we're at ground zero right now. This is the time where human beings 
we need to make a choice. And if we're going to choose life, we have to be all in with this. And all in really means in large part to humble ourselves and, and reconnect with the natural world. Like one of the things that ego loves to do, right, is to think that it can do it all itself. And the whales are just really saying, hey, you know, you're not meant to do it yourself. We are not meant to do this all yourself. And that goes for us as individuals. It goes for us as a species as well, right? And the earth herself is not meant to do it all herself either. And that's what the whales are saying is that, hey, all we need to do is ask, right? Um, those of us on the planet who have a vision for healing, a vision of the healed earth, we need to really just ask for assistance right now because it's there. And what I'm really reading between the lines is that miracles can happen. We've got all these spirit beings just waiting for us to ask for assistance. And at this turning point of the solstice, right, that when we ask for this right now, it's going to bring an incredible influx of love and healing into the world. And knowing how the solstice works, the solstice is when the sun is at its, it's the lowest rate of change, right? So we, as we ask for this, we may not see the change immediately right away, but it is a powerful change, right? When the sun finally comes to its still point and then begins to slowly move back up. It's not going to be till January, February, where you start to realize, oh my gosh, we're really seeing a lot more light, but it starts right now. And this is what I'm feeling. This We're at this, this point of in humanity right now, right? This 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 point of at the lowest, things are just going crazy, right? And so at this time of the year that aligns with that to be asking for this reconnection with our star brethren, with the whales and through the whales to all the creatures of the earth, right? Because the oceans span the entire earth and the oceans carry vibrations throughout the entire world. So by speaking and asking to the whales, they're really going to amplify this everywhere. And so what I've been given to do is to, to really connect with the whales and in whatever way your heart tells you to do. And this is what I've been doing. And I'm going to share this with you. I have a little a vial of water here and I sprinkled some salt into it, some sea salt. And I only had just kind of ordinary sea salt, but I'm told intuitively and next chance I get, I'm going to go get some of that gray Celtic sea salt and, and put it in there. And the next thing I was guided to do was to sing to it. And just sing this primordial tone of Om, right? Oh. And singing to the water. And what I'm told is that when you do that, you can smudge it too, or you know, whatever you want to do to the water, but the water will hold and remember vibrations. And so what I'm told is when you sing to the water, it holds the vibration. You can sing with the thought, with the intention of connecting to the whales and asking them to relay this message, to ask for healing, right? To ask for healing from the star beings. And I'm told that when you speak to the water like this and sing to it, that it connects it with all water everywhere, and especially with the oceans when you add the salt to that. And so even if you are nowhere near the ocean, you can connect with the whales in this way. There are other ways you can do that um, as well. I live near Lake Superior, which of course is connected with the ocean. So almost any body of water is gonna be connected with the ocean. You can go and do whatever ceremony that will help to bless the water that will assist at this time as well. And, also, if you are nowhere near near water, you can you can do this. Um, 
other ways to connect with the whales. Um, you can do artwork just like I did. I had just completed this, probably the biggest watercolor painting I've ever done. But if you feel inspired to get out your paints, dance, you can dance and invite the whales or the star beings to be with you, relay your messages, relay your, your any kind of asking for help, right? Through dance, through I'm getting through numbers. I don't know how that would work, but you numbers people, I'm sure, <laughs> would know how to work with numbers in ways that the the commune with water, right? Um, there's so much mathematics behind everything. Um, you know, singing, toning, anything that your heart speaks to you, light language to connect with water, to connect with the whales, and to ask the star beings for their assistance, to ask all of nature, the nature spirits, for their assistance at this time, because this, I feel, is the most important thing that's going to assist humanity in healing and to actually making that turn. And then the other really important aspect of that is vision, right? If we don't have a vision of where we want to be, then it's really, really difficult to be there, right? And so I have this vision for this ascended, beautiful, healed, harmonious earth, right? And But then we all have our own individual visions of our life and how we can align our life to the healed earth, right? To, to source itself, represented by the sun, of course. So I would like to invite you to join me for a visioning workshop on December 27th. We're going to really clarify our vision for humanity and then clarify our own individual visions so that we move forward into 2023 fully in alignment, in alignment with the source spirit um, vision of the healed earth and aligning our lives and our vision. This is beautiful for personal visioning, for business visioning, any of that. I'll do a clearing as well. And so you can sign up through the link below and hope to see you there. And remember, you were born to be free.